Hello everybody, welcome back to the series I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, third Doctor Who novel, I not even, not even ten minutes ago, just finished reading it. So you are getting my actual reaction here. So yeah, this video might be a bit more jumbled than the past two videos because uh, I just finished it and I haven't really had a chance to gather my thoughts together. That's kind of the point of this series. Uh, I had finished Vampire Science at least a day before I did the Vampire Science one. I don't know where to start with this book, because there's not really anything wrong with it. Not anything I can think of, at least. I know where to start. Let's, let's start off with which stories this story is a sequel to. So, The Body Snatchers is a sequel to not only Terror of the Zygons, but also, Talons of Wang Chiang, because Professor Lightfoot's in it. So the story, the story itself, it's, it's nothing really new, but it's executed really well. Basically, it's the Zygons are looking for a new home planet, as they always are, and they come across Earth, and they set up their base of operations on Earth, and they're stealing bodies to feed Scarrison, and just you know, a pretty standard plot, but the dialogue and the characters are just so enjoyable that it makes the book. It's the characters that make this book. The only problem I guess I'd say I would have with it is how the Zygons are defeated. I mean, it serves as a piece of character development for eight, but it's a sort of a mistake that you don't think the Doctor would make, and he doesn't rectify it in the end, which seems a bit unlike him. Basically, the Doctor's plan is to make all the Zygons go to sleep by dosing the Scarison lactic fluid with anesthetic, and he does that. And instead of making the, the Zygons go to sleep, it kills them. And he's just like, well, shit. And the lead Zygon releases an army of Scarrison out into London, which, is, which leads to some pretty awesome chase scenes through London. But yeah, then the leader of the Zygons dies, and that's it for the Zygons. They sort of disappear about three-fourths of the way through the novel, and, you know, the doctor, it's the doctor's fault, and he doesn't do anything about it, which, it, I was just weirded out by the fact that the doctor could make that kind of mistake. It's not like him at all. So that threw me out of it for a sec, but other than that, I think it was really good. No, no, there's one more thing. There's also this side character, as there are with a lot of these Eighth Doctor novels that goes nowhere. He doesn't tie directly into the plot. He didn't really have a purpose in being there. His name's Jack, and that's just there to reinforce the threat of the Zygons, I guess, but it doesn't really do anything. In fact, his so since his subplot is, subplot is so far away from the actual story, it it feels like it's literally just there to be filler. Like, you get to a really interesting scene with the Doctor or Lightfoot or any of the other characters directly involved with the actual plot, and then in the middle of it, you got this asshole and his friend being body snatchers and snatching dead corpses for the Zygons to feed their fucking scarison. And just goes nowhere. Like, the Zygons could have done that themselves. There was no need to have these dumbasses do it. And, yeah, it's just... I just felt like that could have been... That entire bit of the novel could have been cut. But, yeah, other than that, absolutely brilliant novel. A uh, great throwback to, you know, the Philip Hinchcliffe era. There's a lot of body horror in it, and it's just really, really good.
I can definitely say it's probably the first novel I've read that, despite its flaws, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because I just enjoyed reading it so much. So that's my thoughts on The Body Snatchers, a really, really good novel written by a nerd for nerds. I mean, he it's, it's a plot that's been done before, but he executes it so well that how can you not love it? So definitely recommend this one if you haven't read it. Um, yeah, go check it out.